What's up gamers, Dreamcast Guy here, talking today about DC Universe Online, because this very expansive and very impressive superhero MMORPG has just landed on the Nintendo Switch, and it's honestly super impressive to see it here. I mean, this game is very, very big, something that can soak up hundreds and hundreds of hours as you explore its multiple cities, level up your character, get cool powers, and basically just play with your friends in this giant digital metropolis. But more than that, this is a game that's actually pretty old. When it initially came out 10 years ago, it was pretty bad. I mean, if I'm just giving you my personal opinion, it initially launched in a very broken state. It was paltry, it was unimpressive, and a lot of people kind of hated it. But the developers have managed to stick with it, expand a lot of the concepts, and create a game now that a decade later is very, very fun to play. But personally, the reason I've been trying it out today is because since it's on the Switch, I wanted to see how this could really operate on a handheld system. I mean, I love the Switch, but let's face it, it's a lot smaller of a device. How is it going to be able to handle a game this freaking big? Well, stunningly, it actually handles everything pretty dang superbly. I had almost no issues during my entire time with this. Now, there are some problems, but I want to get into that towards the end of the video. Let's start off by talking about what this game is about, in case you've never seen it before. Essentially, this takes place in an alternate universe of DC. You know, the universe where Superman and Wonder Woman are all chilling out and fighting against the Joker and Harley Quinn. Well, here's the thing. In in this reality, everybody already died. In the distant future, Lex Luthor ended up wiping out everybody in the DC Universe, and then Earth was dominated by Brainiac. When they realized that they screwed up the timeline so badly, though, Lex Luthor took the DNA of all the different heroes and villains from throughout time and reversed the planet all the way back to when everybody was alive and spread this DNA through the atmosphere. Really, this is just an excuse to try and explain why there are so many people now that are running around with these different powers. So when you start the game, you get to make your own custom hero or villain, a good guy or a bad guy. Now you can fully customize them if you want, or you can base them on somebody that's already established. For me personally, because I was so excited to jump into the game, I based myself on Joker. I made myself the Prince of Crime. Now here's what's really cool. As soon as I got into this, I noticed that everybody is so fundamentally different. There are hundreds of different abilities. There's so many different things in this that just completely blew me away. Now, since this is an MMORPG, I went to play with my friends. So I decided to jump into this universe with people like RGT85, uh, Spawnwave Media, and uh, Evan, which is Kimmerich's project. And each of us, even though we were playing together and made our characters at the same time, had wildly different powers. I mean, like RGT85 basically made himself into Bane, but with Batman gadgets. Me personally, I gave myself lightning whips and the ability to fly if I got near buildings. I could uh, have this ability to basically catch updrafts and shoot myself into the sky and then glide from building to building. And then when I was teaming up with Evan later on, we were running a bunch of dungeons together. He's basically pink Thanos. And so he would just hover along like Goku and blast everything as it came close to us. This game is insanely diverse in the different ways you can play and the different characters you can make. Now, part of the fun of this game is choosing a faction, because since this is a huge MMO, there are two separate groups, the heroes and the villains. Now, all of us, because we're YouTubers and wanted to be goofy, we all chose to be the bad guys. We're super evil, corrupt people, which means that you get to do quests where you're actually helping out drug dealers. And yes, I'm being serious. Or beating up cops. I mean, like, at one point, I got hired by Killer Croc to blow up police cars. It is so hilarious, and what's really cool is that as soon as you start playing this game, you level up very, very quick. You get a ton of experience points from every single mission, which means that just by playing it for a couple hours, you can easily unlock all sorts of super advanced skills. I like this game so much because it's just so fast. It wants to try and get you to the fun parts of the game. After the initial tutorial, you start unlocking all your crazy skills and manage to do things like get the talent trees and customize 
as the different ways you yourself want to fight. Or if you want, it's really important that if you're going to be teaming up a lot, you can communicate with your teammates and be like, okay, how are you going to play so I can complement it? Like, I mean, RGT85, when we were running around here in these streets of Gotham and looking at all these burning vehicles and stuff, I wanted to try and help him while simultaneously being the opposite of the skills. If he's going really, really close range, I was upgrading my gun so I could do more DPS long range, which means damage per second. There is a nice yin and yang to this. Now, if you want, there's also PvP. You could actually hunt down enemy players and kill them just to get bounties or experience points. Now, one of the weirdest parts about all this is the fact that there is just such a wide range of things to do. You can hang out in particular cities, like uh, there's like this dark, corrupted version of the world that you can go to and hang out with Constantine, or you can go to the bright, shining buildings of Metropolis, where Superman lives, of course. There is a lot to do all over the DC planet. But additionally, what's really key here is the fact that you're gonna notice that there are people everywhere. This is a very heavily populated in MMORPG, mostly because it is free to play. You can actually make a character, hit max level, do all sorts of quests, hang out with your friends, do voice chats, all this stuff without spending a single penny. It seems like in order to actually get the best of the best, you do need to pay a fee called a membership. This does stuff like give you access to what's essentially a guild. It also gives you access to some of the highest end content. It's basically their way of being like, you can play this game without spending a single cent for like the first 50 hours or whatever, but then you will probably be asked to pay in some capacity. But to me, I think that this is very, very cool. My biggest problem is that while I was having a blast running around here and doing some really cool missions, there is some technical issues with this. They definitely had to dramatically downgrade the resolution, to the point in which this looks like it is a little bit lower uh, looks-wise than the PlayStation 3 version. I mean, keep in mind, since this game has been around for 10 years, it's been on a bunch of different systems, like the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox One and the PS4 and all that. So now that it's on this, you can definitely tell that this is one of the least visually appealing. But I'm okay with that because it's also a handheld. Now, also, I like the fact that the Switch people play on our own server, which means that there's not a bunch of crazy high-level super Super villains already running around. This universe is fresh, so getting a chance to try it day one with my friends was an absolute blast. Like, just as a random example of one of the things I did today that was exceedingly entertaining is, at one point, I was trying to help all these supernatural detectives track down some evil demons. And so we, of course, had to basically follow all their clues and follow all their trails until we can interrogate a demon and get some information. When we found him and beat him up, he confessed that there was going to be a big meeting of some of the strongest dudes in town that are super ultra evil at this nearby magic bar. And when we went in there, we had to use, like, these mind control potions to try and gleam everybody's thoughts, which led to a giant fight, and everybody's blowing up tables and flipping over bars and exploding everything around us, and we were just getting our butts kicked so bad in such a crazy galactic event. This is what makes DC fun. DC comics are great, DC movies are superb, but this, it's something else entirely. It is a story where you are the hero, you are the villain, you are the star. Are, and it's so freaking fun to just get a chance to log into this universe with your buddies. It's so great to get a chance to rob different warehouses and do all the bad stuff and the good stuff. Really, the only other thing I have in this game that was kind of a complaint is that I do think that the menus still kind of blow. I mean, they're not super intuitive and just trying to mess with things like tinkering with my gear or re-talent specking myself, it's still very, very annoying. Everything else about this game is so streamlined and being being able to traverse these giant cityscapes is very cool, but still, just trying to deal with the nitty gritty details is a little bit of a mess. I think that this stuff will be patched. I'm still thinking that this is one of those games that's super cool just because it works. If you have a Nintendo Switch, give this game a shot. I mean, it's free. Try it out, and if you get bored, delete it. It's not like it'll cost you anything. I'm probably going to play it for at least a couple more hours and try and hit 
max level, and then if I get bored then, well, then I can just move on and I haven't lost anything. But what did you think of it? Have you gotten a chance to try DC Universe Online? And what did you think of it? Tell me your thoughts in the comments down below. Thanks so much for watching, gamers. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, share with your friends, and subscribe if you haven't already. But do me the biggest favor of all and keep dreaming. I'm having some sort of allergic reaction to something right now, so if my voice sounds a little bit different, I apologize. I've just been sneezing a lot. Thanks so much for watching that video. If you want to see something else, you can always click this link to see what I put up last, or, you know, subscribe and see what's coming up next. Also, I promise that whatever I do, it'll try not to suck.